Okay, here we go. Round one, we're up against Tuffy. Uh, he is our traditional just for fun greeting here. Uh, yeah, I mean, we have our hill here. That's not optimal. Two storm cards and nothing to build on it, but we have Mesmeric Fiend into Ophidian. That's not that bad. Um, let's keep it. And, you know, we could probably get pretty run over with an aggro deck. But that's just going to happen in all of our uh, <laughs> all of our matches because of you know we tried to do something a little stupid and fun. So um, yeah, not going to play Nightskeep turn two. Going to play Mesmeric. Opponent drafted black red, so this is probably aggro goblins kind of thing. It's our tendrils, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, if he takes our Ophidian, that's more annoying. If you take our mesmeric, that'd probably be good for him. Probably looking at us like WTF, what are you doing? Did we get a message back? No. Oh, come on here, bud. What are you doing? He's probably writing down my hand or something, which is like so bougie. Like, I mean, that's fine if you're playing in like an important event, but this is a Swiss draft, bro. Um, he took my mesmeric. Okay, that's 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 fine. I'm fine with that. You can do that. Okay. He attacks. It's pretty tempting to trade just to get my own mesmeric back, but I think I'll take it and uh, spark spray. Oh yeah, I remember that card. Okay. Um. Fine, let's cast a pity in here for the purpose of efficiency. We have brainstorm. We can get a couple more islands and sculpt our hand, put back these two uh, storm cards if we don't need them yet. See what our opponent does here. Nothing. Okay, ritual. That's good. Let me pop out my graveyard so I can keep track of what's going on there. Um, brainstorm main phase. Yeah, why not? Possible opponent has him to Turok, so we're going to put back Tendrils and Fisher here. Uh, okay, we draw some... We drew our threat, which is nice, just in case we want to start the beat. Um, we can obsessive search and draw a card uh, to add to our storm count. So we could go ritual, obsessive, uh, temporal, you know, bounce three things. That's not too bad, but we don't want to do that yet. Um, definitely attacking with Ophidian here. Opponent. Box that's great for us. If not, it's still pretty decent for us. Chaos War. Okay. Shuffles it and then reveals the top card. Okay, so we revealed Counterspell. Alright, okay. It's, it's, that was risky of him, but it worked out in his favor, I guess. Okay, uh, generic 3-3. Three, three. I'm fine with that. Coming in with the Mesmeric Fiend beats. Um, do we keep up Counterspell? It's pretty likely he has Predatory Night Stalker, so playing a free into that seems bad. I could kind of like cycle Obsessive Search at the end of this turn if I want. That seems... Good if I don't counter anything. Well, he knows I have counter spell up, so. 
might not play anything directly into that. Attack, attack. Passing. So he did nothing at least. That's that's decent. Okay, we drew our fisher. Okay, island. Um let's let's play our free. I mean if he has the night soccer he has it. It's another card in our graveyard to get toward you know ritual here. Pretty soon we'll be in shape to, to bounce a lot of stuff here. In the meantime, if he doesn't have removal, this just holds him back from attack. Really, you're attacking? Let's see, it's some kind of trick. with that uh, I'm gonna block like that and if you know we're, I'm getting a two for one out of this no or he's got another, you got another spark sprite okay that's fine I'm, that's pretty good for me actually so lightning rift nah nah chill bro <laughs> nah, yo, not gonna do it. Uh, okay, fairies. So right now we could go fairies, uh, ritual, Fisher, mesmeric fiend. You know, getting back our mesmeric. Fiend, that doesn't seem good enough. Um. Just gonna wait a turn. We're not in any real danger of dying right now. He's only got two cards in hand and one power cloth on the board. Not not terribly frightened at this point. Let's see if we can draw like deep analysis or something that would definitely cycle the Baron more end of turn. Okay, okay. He's a little flooded over there. That's good for us. We get any kind of trouble, so I'm pretty into bouncing stuff here. Uh, okay, back a creature and draw a card. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh. God. I skipped too fast there. Uh, deep analysis. Yeah, okay, so we're just going to cast uh, cast this this turn and, you know, save the flashback for going off. Okay, got two fishers. That seems nice. Let's let him uh, play a bunch of stuff and then maybe bounce his whole hand next turn. Filer again, okay. Temporal Fisher is just such an annoying card. <laughs> it's like upheaval you. Oh, and we got tendrils. Oh man. Um. Hmm. What do we want to do here? We can go fairies deep analysis and see what we draw. But then we're kind of wasting a, a storm count. Let, you know what? No time like the present. Let's go for it. We're getting pretty close to, to seven here for our ritual to be powered up. And tendrils is, is nice. It's twice the card grape shot is. 
And, you know, even if we, we don't have to totally kill them with it, if we get close, we can finish them off with annoying 1-1 one, one creatures. If we can get to 9 mana and cast Fisher and then Tendrils, that would be sick. Untap up to 2 lands. Okay, let's cast Deep Analysis on the flashback tip here. Island, okay, that, that was good. Brainstorm. Put back Island. Uh, one Fisher. Okay, um, six, right? Cycle. Sandbar. Okay. Ritual. And we have seven mana. So we could paralyze that and then tendrils. Um, or I can just temporal fisher and get my mesmeric fiend back now. That doesn't seem good with so many cards in hand. Uh, so let's paralyze that. Uh, and tendrils our opponent. So I'm glad to see we built it to the point where we do have a potential of killing the opponent. We didn't quite make it this time. But we're not dead yet. We can still bounce a bunch of stuff and hopefully stall out to the point where we can deal 8 damage. Alright, so let's see what happens here. You definitely stalled. He's going to untap his guy here, I'm sure. Yeah, he's definitely pretty flooded, so that definitely that helped us quite a bit. Sponge, okay. That's a card. Alright. Um, we can spend one of these to bounce his mesmeric and get back ours and then take his with it. He's going to cycle that cave, that's fine. At least he should. I mean, right now, though, we're kind of losing... I mean, we can stall, but we're losing the race overall, I think, here. Unless we draw some something good. problem with this kind of deck is your top decks are kind of silly. You know, you're better off building um, building your hand, really, before you try to go off. So I kind of jumped the gun a little. But, uh, you know what? I'm not terribly disappointed. You got another Mesmeric Fiend? You're kidding. You're kidding. Okay, well, this could draw us into, into something good here. Do we just mean phase it in case there's something we want to play? Um... Uh, yeah, I think we do. Um, 
them. I think we take... Oh, just Gush or four cards? Yeah, we're going to take the four cards. That's crazy. Why would you do that? Paralyze on this guy. So he's really not going to bother us anytime soon. Cycle Lonely Sandbar. Okay, we got Stroke here. So we have 6, 10, 12 mana. Stroke our opponent for nine if we wanted to try to draw him out of cards. So let's see if we, if we can stall a little more. Because <laughs> this is really, I think, I'm pretty sure this is the only win condition left in our deck at this point. Oh, uh, really? Oh, double parallel. That doesn't do anything because he can pay four up. Oh, that was foolish. Oh, well. Or we could draw ourselves out here. That doesn't seem like a good plan either. Uh, if we block and trade here, we get he gets back a mesmeric and takes our cards. So we do that. High tide would do it. Okay. Okay, hold on. Now we have, okay, so one, two, three, and we pay two, and we get five, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, and nine and six is 15. We're almost there. If we draw a high tide, we win. We still got a couple more turns here, and he's, you know, he draws a card to turn. Let me look at this. Is this is this target pleasure. Could even, you know, deep analysis could even be good here for milling our opponent out. I think we had two of those, right? I don't even remember my deck here. I took a screenshot. Let me see if I can open that back up again. Uh, do we have two? Yeah, we have two deep analysis. Um, trying to see what else is in our deck at this point. Okay, I should. I'm wasting time here, and this is a very time consuming deck. As usual, when I'm drafting, I have to pee really bad, <laughs> which is terrible with time, timed events. No pause in this. It's kind of good because it keeps people from stalling, but it's also like rough for a bio break. Um, five. There's a potential you could kill me next turn. Hmm. Do I try? Do I deep analysis myself here? Um. Let me count this out again. I have 10 lands, 10 minus 3 is 7, plus 8 is 15, I'm like one short. Uh, you know, I can tilt block with that, but then he takes my stroke and I'm just dead. Um, I might just deep analysis him here. I know that seems crazy, but... Now let's let's deep analysis ourselves. Maybe we can find a way to stay alive. Okay, so yeah, next turn we're well actually can I cast turnabout here and win? Um what does this what does this give us? So paying four to get yeah, um yeah, I think that does it. Okay, so I'm going to do it during our opponent's upkeep. These are all instant, so... 
No guts, no glory, right? <laughs> Let's see if we can stroke a genius our opponent to death here. Cycling, okay, to kill our mesmeric fiend. That's actually great for us because he's drawing another card. And we can still go off during his upkeep here. Okay, so let's do this. Abilities on the stack. Let him tap the four to untap that guy. He's not. Or is he doing it with the second one? No, he's not untapping his guy. That's why he had to tap all the lands first. Got anything? It's probably like, what the heck is this guy doing? <laughs> I'm like, what the heck am I doing? Let's untap all our lands. Is this not enough? It's not enough. Fourteen. Darn it! I thought that was enough. Well, actually, if we live, <laughs> which is pretty doubtful at this point, but if we live, we can untap and deep analysis him and win. No, I, I mean and draw. Caravic storage. Okay, we're just dead. I miscounted there. That's that's rough. Okay. Okay, my bad. I'm sorry I miscounted, guys. That's pretty lame. Opponent <laughs> well, was not impressed. Um, are we going to bother doing anything here? I don't think so. I think we're just going to run it back and be crazy. That was so close. Oh, I'm upset, man. I'm upset because that was pretty close. And we Ah, oh, man. If we didn't... Uh... If we didn't just go for it there, we might have been okay. Although maybe he had the torch already, and it wouldn't have mattered. Who knows? Not sure what the plan is with that, but okay. <sighs> Opponent taking a long time to sideboard here. Come on, man! Don't you know I have to pee? <laughs> and we're probably gonna be last here, so we're not gonna have a lot of time between rounds. Okay, yeah, let's play first. Why not? Um, yeah, we want them all again. That we do the land. Okay, yeah, let's keep that. Try to play a little faster here. I apologize if I talk a little less. I know the whole point of uh, videoing these is the commentary, but sometimes that distracts me from what I'm doing. It also kind of helps me if I'm kind of. Uh, you know, just kind of like flow of consciousness here. On a scary, okay, that's a dude. It attacks. It 
attacks into Ophidian, so we can't swap here, but if he attacks, so I'm kind of fine with that. Draw a card. Although he probably has another creature. He probably, you know, if anything, he'd, he'd be smart of him to sideboard into more aggression. Take our analysis here, that's annoying. Want to try to draw into a swamp, obviously. to something helpful, so. And in the meantime, we're getting beat down. Okay, so he missed the land drop, too. Uh oh or not, and he casts another dude. So this is very not good for us. Um... Uh, very unlikely we're going to survive long enough to, to go off here. Okay. Plenty of rituals and photography. A swamp. A swamp would be pretty good right here. I'm pretty sure we could balance this whole, all his creatures at least. Okay. Cycle shock. Tyrant's choice. Either thing is bad for us. Death, he votes for death. He wants me to sack my Ophidian. Um, God, either way, we're pretty dead here. Um, I mean, if we vote for torture, we're dead on the swing back if we don't draw a swamp. Um, but we have two chances to draw a swamp. If we... Vote for death, we have one chance. We still have two because he's getting two attack steps. I'm gonna I'm gonna vote for torture and take the life. Okay. Here's our second chance. If we don't draw a swamp here, we're dead. We drew a swamp, we got there. Okay, okay. So let's see what we can do here. We can go ritual. Um, ritual. Let's get familiar. Let's get familiar. Darn, I did that wrong. I can't cast Fisher now. Oh, stupid. Or can I? Wait, wait, wait. This is going to cost me three. Yeah, I can. I did do it right. What am I saying? Let's bounce that. that, that. A bit, doesn't it? <laughs> and we got back our deep analysis too. 
Yeah, okay, so achievement one, unlock bounce of opponent's whole board of creatures. Uh, achievement two will be actually winning, <laughs> which I doubt it's in the cards tonight. Let's see what happens. I'm having fun, though. You hear me laughing and smiling. I mean, I'm stupid. And I wish I had read this first. Okay. Opponent going to try to burn us out with cycling, I imagine. Okay. Um... Can attack here. Okay. Try another land, which is nice. Uh, let's play Mesmeric Fiend here. Let's see, take a cycling card. Oh, yeah, but he has that. Cave. Oh, God. Yeah, this is just not good for us. Um, all of this is just so bad. Uh, I guess we take Tyrant's Choice. We still have Turnabout, so we could tap all his dudes if we want. We've got two cycling guards here, so that's Four out of our six life. Really would like to draw into a uh, way to get rid of this or um, yeah, okay, you're going to blow up our fiend. Okay, that's fine. I don't really have a choice. God, that's rough. Take our turn about here. Yeah, this is not not looking not looking good for the home team. The six here. So do we cycle the fairies here? Uh, looking for something useful. If we paralyze a mesmeric fiend, that doesn't seem good at all. Yeah, let's c c cycle. Fairies. Oh my god, he can... He can lightning rift me if I cycle a card? Oh my god. That's so stupid. They made stupid cards back in the day. That the, like, a card nowadays would never do that whenever a player cycles a card. It would be whenever you cycle a card. Yeah, we're not we're not playing the smartest here. Obviously, I just made about ten punts in that last <laughs> exchange, but I really don't care because <laughs> we're we've lost here. There's just it's impossible to win at this point because the opponent has all this stuff. Yeah, see, he he wins no matter what. So we we just uh, we just die here. Okay, well, that kind of sucked, but, you know, at least we bounced the opponent's board. That was kind of fun. Uh, 